I know you gonna dig this. Sell the kids for food. Well, the change is moved. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So here I am in. Well, I'm just above Studio City. I'm in North Hollywood, near Valley Village. This is uh, the Valley, California, and I'm here about an album called Nevermind by a band called Nirvana. You've heard of them? You've heard of that album? Yeah, you know it? Probably one of the biggest albums of all time, right? Let's be honest, it is. Why do I have to be honest? It is. Now, it had a very famous album cover. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put that album cover, like inserts of it in, because it features a baby and the baby's thingy is out. So. You know, I'm gonna have to probably blur it for YouTube. I'll figure it out. It's a baby though. Anyways, oh, that baby? This is him now. Hey, one. Feel old? Mm. So I'm gonna take you to that pool. I'm gonna show you where that pool is located. Where that baby was floating in the water. Well, floating, it was submerged. It wasn't really floating. I'm gonna take you there. Kirk West photographs. But he also took a lot of other photographs of the band in a different pool. And they're promotional photos for Nevermind. And they're all over the place now, but then they were used for the 20th anniversary of Nevermind. Uh, they were in that reissue. But they're around at the time too, with the band underwater with all their instruments. Do you wanna know where that pool was located? Well, guess what? I'm standing in it. I'm standing in the pool right here. This is it. So there's now a Jewish temple, but uh, back in the day, 1991, when these, October 1991, when these photographs were taken, this was a, a, an apartment building. Typical Los Angeles apartment building where they're set back, small, and the pool was actually in front, facing the boulevard, which you don't see too often. But it would have been right here. The pool, right here. This is the corner of Chandler and Whitset Avenue. This building here has changed dramatically, but in the photographs you can see how it matches up, that awning part, that out part that comes out. So the, the actual apartment building would have been further back and right where this wall is, is where that pool was, where the famous Nirvana photos were taken. And of course you can see that building very distinctly in the background of some of the photographs. And that building, you see? These are outtakes of the uh, photo shoot. There's lots of them online. And that's the building you see in the background. That one and that one. And if I go around this way, there's absolutely no way to match this up because of the new building that's here. But straight ahead would have been the apartment building and there was a doorway and Kurt Cobain was sleeping right by the doorway. He showed up a couple of hours late to the photo shoot, promptly fell asleep, and it took them a couple of hours to wake him up. And he was not really into it. The band was like, what? They kind of like, they, they weren't, it was, you know, it was October. I mean, it's still Los Angeles, it's still warm, but it's not that, you know. It's gonna be a little cold, a little chilly. Took him a while to coax him in, but they all went in with the instruments and got all these famous photographs. So Kurt would have been straight ahead I don't know, 50 yards, 40 yards, 50 meters. Canadian, I'm doing that. The metric system, straight ahead that way. But from this angle, you can see them setting up for various shots. And there used to be a car wash sign up here. That whole block has been torn down and a new uh, building is going up right there. And Chris, the bassist, he wanted uh, Jack Daniels. And the uh, photographer said, well, I have Jim Beam. And he said, no, I want Jack Daniels. So somebody went out and got some Jack Daniels. And apparently Dave was just really chill. And Dave, uh, the, the photographer was wearing a wetsuit. The band was not. And Dave kept his wetsuit afterwards because Dave tried it on and liked it. But yeah, so the band got all in the pool that was located right here. That would have been really cool if the, if the pool was still here. I was hoping, uh, well, I wasn't hoping, I knew it wasn't here, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping in general, I'm, I'm always hoping that something is gonna still be around. 
But that piece of music history is now gone, but it was right here. And really, the only way you can tell is because, and I can't even get the right angle of that building because it's just, well, it's just hard. But you can see it on the side there and there. It's got the little overhang. Completely different though. Nice new building. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Nirvana. You are too, probably, if you're watching. So anything to do with Nirvana, I, I like to find. Because there's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's 30 years now in October since those photographs were taken. So anything anything Nirvana related, a lot of it's gone. I've documented a lot on my channel. I'll put a link below. I think I have a Nirvana or Kurt Cobain play, uh, playlist. You can find all my Nirvana stuff. But this is a location I always wanted to come to. And really, just so I could match up that in the background, very cool. Now, we're gonna go to the pool. The actual pool, and it's still there. Where that baby was submerged Reaching for that dollar bill. It was on a fish hook, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was. And we'll go there and we'll show you that because that pool is still there. Have I repeated myself enough? Because that pool is still there. All right, that pool is still there. Let's go. Yep. Yep. This is it. This is so it. This is way across town. This is, and the sun is going down. Rhyme scheme. Uh, here we are in Pasadena. I think I'm in Old Pasadena. I'm not sure. I saw signs for Old Pasadena. I thought that was a little offensive. I mean, I think New Pasadena has a little too much clout there, thinking, thinking too much of themselves. Old Pasadena. It's kind of insulting. Coincidentally, my nickname in high school was Old Pasadena. Now, I'm walking up this hill here, and I was already here earlier, and the people that work here, one guy knew about it. And so there's people at the pool. I said, well, you know, I want to try to get to the pool when no one's there. He goes, oh, let me I'll give you the number for the manager. Come back another day, blah, 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 all this stuff. A little rigmarole, very nice. But I said, you know what? I want to come back when you guys are closed in an hour. I'll go kill some time. And I'll just get the shots from the outside because you can see it from the outside. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go all the way around. He goes, yeah, so come back after five. And then he goes, and you can climb up the hill and get a really good shot. To which I replied, climb up the what now? No, no, no. I'm climbing up a little hill right now, but this is enough. But here's where the Nirvana pool is from Nevermind. Now, there's two pools side by side. It's the one on the other side, which means I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to walk around to that side. Huh. But the story is that Kurt Cobain was uh, really into water births. He, he found them fascinating. So that's what he wanted on the cover was water births. But Geffen Records said, no. So then they had the idea of the baby underwater. But stock footage of a baby underwater at that time was like $7,500, who knew? So the photographer, Kirk, he said, you know what, I'll get a baby. He got a baby. He bored a friend's baby, you know, as you do. Can I bore your baby? What are you gonna do with it? I'll throw it underwater. Okay. So it's that pool right there. So he bored a baby. They use a plastic baby first to get the shots, to line it up. Because apparently you can't submerge a baby for too long. I didn't know that. I didn't think they had lungs till a certain age. So I thought you could throw a baby in the water, keep it underwater as long as you want to or need to. But no, apparently they, had, they only had a short amount of time with the baby underwater. So they use a plastic, plastic doll. And there's the pool over there. Now I just gotta figure out the best angle to get it from. I'm gonna have to walk from that side all the way around. But that's the Nevermind pool. You ready to see it? I'm ready to see it. Let's walk. You know what, if I have to make this walk, so do you. But we're walking to the Nevermind pool. The actual pool where Spencer <laughs> That guy was submerged. And apparently he likes, he kind of enjoyed part of the publicity of it as he got older. Kind of not, because his, you know, what is there for all the world to see. And Geffen Records made them put a sticker over top of that back in the day. I guess maybe still, I don't know. Covering it up. So, but yeah, Spencer kind of was bittersweet for him. Hopefully things have changed for him, if you know what I mean. Let's uh, hope, otherwise it's a, it's a pretty small matzo ball to be hanging up there. And here's the pool, right here. This is the Nevermind pool. 
Now, again, I could have waited, could have come back another day to get right inside, but look at this. I'm right here. This is the pool where they submerged the baby for the album cover of Nevermind, right there. And it was the recreation side, not that side. And this is a recreational pool. And that's a professional pool. Although, look at this diving board. I guess that's for fun. If that's your idea, fun. Climbing up that high and jumping into water. 17 feet here. What kind of recreation is that? That doesn't sound very recreational. That sounds very professional. 17 feet. That's two of me. Uh, lots of holes in the ground. They look like snake holes. So, this could be my last video. Not because I get bit, because I would run if I saw one and I'd fall and hit my head on one of these rocks and I'd be left here to wither. Here, that's a good shot. Rose Bowl Aquatic Center. Look it up. There it is right there. That's how it is. That's the Nevermind pool right there. And there's people still in the water. Come on, they said there'd be nobody in the water. Here's a better shot right there. Looks very blue, like the very like the blue of the uh, pool. Well, that's it. Looks like there's more people coming into the pool now, although it's supposed to be closed. Look at this thing. That's an album cover right there. Look at this, turned around, taking it. This has been here probably for 300 years, I would assume. I think I was taking a shot of that. Nirvana, never mind. Boom. A couple of old pipes. Nothing about my uh, nicknames in high school. Old pipe. Old piper. So there's the pool. Oh, there's a hot tub. Looks particularly nasty. No offense to the Rose Bowl. Oh, speaking of the Rose Bowl. So the Rose Bowl is apparently somewhere around here. This is the Rose Bowl Aquatic Center. Uh, I believe football takes place at the Rose Bowl. I don't know anything about football. I like hockey as a Canadian, and I don't know a thing about football, but I do know that U2 played a tremendous show at the Rose Bowl for their 360 tour that aired live on this very medium. YouTube. 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 Yeah, they uh, broadcast live. And YouTube is awesome. I don't want to hear it. Don't insult YouTube. They're still around. They're still going. They're still awesome. But this is about Nirvana, never mind. So those things in there control the water in that pool. And I thought, well, I want to touch the water. That's what I was thinking. And then I asked the guy, have you changed the water in 30 years? He said, yes, sir. And I said, don't call me sir. That's my father's name. All right, going to walk back through this jungle. And that's it for the Nevermind pool. The album cover shot right here. Those behind the scenes photos far from here. So this was a big video to make. Driving wise. Give me one second. Oh. Yeah, it was a big video to make. It took a lot of time. All right. Nirvana rules. Kurt rules. Dave rules. Chris rules. Pat rules. They all rule. Peace out. Nobody knows not what it means. Knows not what it means. And I say, yeah.